Hi, today I want to give you my opinion on who Trump should pick to run as VP and to me that would be Tulsa Gabbard. The reason I say Tulsa Gabbard is a variety of reasons. Now I'm going to go over a couple things before I get into those reasons. I have heard everything from Ron DeSantis to Carrie Lake. Now I understand a lot of people like Carrie Lake but she has no experience whatsoever. Um, a lot of people will also not vote for someone like Carrie Lake because of uh, she de is denying the election in Arizona. I give her credit for that. Uh, I believe she is right. I believe that election was 100% just, you know the word for it, that I can't use on YouTube because YouTube will ban my video here. So, let's go over why Carrie Lake would not be a good choice for Trump. With 51% of the U.S. population being female, and most of those females vote Democrat, they're not going to be swayed by Carrie Lake. In fact, they will say she's just like Trump, she acts like Trump, and it will just push them to vote Democrat even more. All right, let's go over Ron DeSantis. If you want any young votes, Ron DeSantis is not going to check those so-called virtual signaling boxes. That would be two white men running. Um, we all know that the women that voted for Joe Biden, a lot of them don't like Joe Biden. A lot of them know what he did when he was a senator. They didn't like that about him. They accused Trump of the same thing. They did not vote for Joe Biden. They voted for Kamala Harris. But the difference is Kamala Harris is a worthless human being who has not accomplished anything as VP. Ron DeSantis, once again, women aren't going to vote for him unless you possibly live in Florida, and then you might. Young people will not vote for him. Democrats will not vote for him. So, my choice, I brought it down to two choices, was Christy Nome and Tulsi Gabbard. Now, I believe Tulsi Gabbard would be a better choice for a variety of reasons. One, she was a Democrat until the party went so far left and so far woke that she left. Now, I understand she declares herself as an independent. That can be a good thing. Moderate Democrats would not vote for Trump if he ran with Ron DeSantis or Carrie Lake. But there's a good chance moderate Democrats that are tired of the way the Democrat Party's going will look and see Tulsi Gabbard. Moderate Democrats agree with her a lot. And we all know that if Trump somehow wins the next presidential election, they're going to be impeaching him before he even gets in office. That's what they're going to try to do. We all know it. So Trump's best bet would be he needs women to vote for him. And since most women in America vote Democrat, most women in America are just plain stupid and vote Democrat. Not all, most. He needs someone that the women will actually vote for. This is what happened with Joe Biden. Most of these women didn't vote because of Joe Biden. They didn't vote for him. They voted because they wanted the first female president. They wanted the first female VP. They wanted Kamala Harris in charge. Even though when she was running for president, nobody voted for her. That's what women wanted. 
Tulsi Gabbard has a better chance of pulling moderate Democrats away from the Democrat Party. Kerry Lake's not going to do it. Ron DeSantis is not going to do it. And Trump is not going to do it. Tulsi Gabbard also knows how the Democrats play their little tricks. Because she was Democrat. That could help Trump and the Republicans. Now, I'm not Republican. I sure am not Democrat. I'm too smart to be a Democrat. But I'm not a Republican. I'm a conservative. There's a huge difference. Please don't ever say we are Republican, because we're not. There's a difference between Republicans and Democrats. Democrats lie, cheat, steal. Republicans are spineless and stupid. They do nothing. They've seen Democrats pull stuff for years and done nothing. Because they're spineless cowards. Tulsi Gabbard at least had the guts to walk away from the Democrat Party and say, this is, this is enough. Let's go over. Once again, a lot of people are screaming for Kerry Lake. That would doom Trump. A lot of people don't trust the media. Let's look at Kerry Lake compared to Tulsi Gabbard. Kerry Lake was in media literally for years. I believe from 91 to 92 or 90. Uh, in the early 90s to like 2021. Something like that before she decided to run for governor of Arizona. So she was in the media for years. People don't really trust the media a whole lot. Especially not nowadays. Tulsi Gabbard has served this country. Tulsi Gabbard is anti-war. A lot of people say, why is she anti-war? She served. People die in the military. Tulsi Gabbard has come out against the Democrat policies. Like I said, she knows how they play their games. So, Trump would need that as an advantage. You are free to vote for whoever you want. Trump is running, but he needs a VP. He needs those boxes, some of those boxes checked. Or he won't get the vote. He needs to pick a woman. That's how Biden won. Biden picked a female. You saw how many females out there voted for the worst presidential candidate on the planet, which was Hillary Clinton. Just because she was a woman. Not because she was smart, not because her policies, not because she did anything worth noting. She was a female, and that's why they voted for her. Kamala Harris. Even to this day, you can literally ask people, why did you vote for Joe Biden? And they'll tell you they voted for Kamala. Trump needs to ask Tulsi Gabbard to run for VP with him. Tulsi Gabbard, once again, she can draw some Democrat, moderate Democrats away from the Democrat Party. Especially these moderate Democrats that are tired of the way the Democrat Party is going. I don't see anyone else that could draw those moderate Democrats. They're not going to vote for Kerry Lake. They're not going to vote for Ron DeSantis. I'm going to make this a pretty short video. This is who I think Trump should pick to run with in 2024. I think he should pick Tulsi Gabbard. And I think she should say yes. Because she can make some changes. There are a lot of people saying 
oh no, she was a Democrat, she was for Obama, this and that. Yeah, she was. She she was Democrat. She did like Obama. But I think she started seeing how the Democrat Party really is, and she started seeing what the Democrats have been doing, and they're doing nothing but hurting Americans. And that's not why she was elected in the first place. She has the experience. Yes, does Ron DeSantis have the experience? Absolutely. Will women outside of Florida vote for Trump DeSantis ticket? Probably not a chance in hell. I mean, there are some, but the majority will vote against them. Once again, I think Trump's best bet for a VP will be Tulsi Gabbard. She is now independent, which means that can pull some independent votes. She can pull moderate Democrat votes. And the way things have been going with ballot harvesting, the way that votes are counted, um, the Arizona election where the machine, pa the paper was the wrong size and the machines wouldn't read them. All that happened because none of these people are ever held accountable. Plus, women voted pretty much for Democrats. Trump needs all the support he can get to win. That means moderate Democrats have to be pulled away from the Democrat Party and vote for Trump. If not, he'll lose. And we'll be stuck again with somebody like Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or even somebody worse. Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Feel free to leave any comments you want on this video. Who do you think Trump should pick to run as VP? I've given my opinion. I think he should pick Tulsi Gabbard. And I think because if he did, it will pull moderate Democrats away from the leftist Democrat Party. It would also pull some independents away from uh, the independent party. Independents. If he chose her, I think he could possibly win. Even with the hinky stuff, so to speak, that happens in Democrat cities. You know, during voting. I think some women that are Democrat would vote for Trump if Tulsi Gabbard was running with him. They won't do that if it's Carrie Lake. Democrat women vote Democrat, but some of these women would vote for Tulsi Gabbard. Like I said, Trump needs all the help he can get because you see what happens in these elections that we're not supposed to talk about. He needs all the help he can get. He needs all the votes he can get. They're talking about food shortages, energy shortages, higher gas prices, gas going back up again, possibly higher than it's ever been. Think about it. Go look at what Tulsi Gabbard says about all this. Then when you look at Carrie Lake, all she talks about is Arizona and Katie Hobbs. We need more than that in a candidate. Once again, leave your opinion down in the comments. If you think I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong and why I'm wrong. If you think this is a smart idea 
and you would like Tulsi Gabbard to run with Trump as the VP, put it in the comments. Let's all have a debate on this. Unlike leftist lunatics, I am more than happy to debate anyone about this topic. People change. So yes, Tulsi was a Democrat. But she saw what the Democrat Party was doing and she couldn't stand it. So she left. She's like, no more. And if you listen to her talk now, she is absolutely against the Democrat Party. But see, she's independent. She hates what the Democrats are doing with their leftist woke BS and a lot of moderate Democrats hate it too. But like I said, moderate Democrats will not vote for Kerry Lake or Ron DeSantis. Christy Nome I like, but I don't see her helping Trump a whole lot either. The most logical person, logical, not feelings, the most logical person Trump can choose to run with is Tulsi Gabbard. And if Tulsi Gabbard sees this video, let Trump know you're interested. Let Trump know you're willing to run and fix this country. That's it. If you have a different opinion, leave it in the comments. I'm more than willing to debate anyone on this subject. The best candidate to run with Donald Trump in 2024 is Tulsi Gabbard. All right, that's it. Bye.